Alex Luke from Love Wigston and we're into the March edition of Love Wigston TV and we've come to a bit of a hidden gem in Wigston and that's Find Your Fitness UK. We've got our hosts Cliff and Andrew. Uh, thanks for having us guys. Right, thanks, um, I've broken into a sweat just getting out of the threshold. <laughs> Rade didn't even want to come over the threshold. <laughs> <laughs> so I've come in my gym gear ready because hopefully I can uh, see what it's like uh, coming to it. I've never had a personal training session in my life before, as I'm sure you can tell. Um, but um, what's your kind of background, guys? How long have you been here? So we, uh, myself and Cliff, we set the studio up oh, okay. um, five and a half years ago. Yeah. Um, prior to that, we were personal trainers at Fitness First in Leicester, uh, near the football stadium. Oh, okay, yeah. So that's, yeah. That's, that's where we met each other. Yeah. Um, and we worked there together for about a year, year and a half. Yeah, about a year and a half, yeah. Um, got a little bit, I guess, disillusioned by the fitness industry, working in a commercial gym. Yeah. A little frustrated, so we, we had a chat and we thought, wouldn't it be great if we started a, a personal training board, a training studio where we didn't have to sort of adhere to other people's rules on the type of equipment we can use, yeah. and the type of classes we can run, and yeah. type of things we can do. Yeah. Um, and at that time, personal training studios were just starting to become popular. Okay. Um, so we thought we'd take a punt. We found a location, which is this place, which yeah. is an old, um, it was an old framing um, company, and then before that, it was a showroom for uh, plaster mouldings. Oh, okay. Like, the bits that are around the yeah. top of the ceiling, yeah. very nice. I was going to say, it's very well decorated out. It's uh, fantastic. Well, that's studio. what drew us to it. It's lovely, yeah. <laughs> but um, I mean, when, when we came and looked at the, the place, the landlords at the time um, just said, there's no chance. They said, well, why would you want to make this into a fitness studio? Yeah. We, we were thinking more a uh, cab company. Yeah. Just places that the guys that are going to sit there and, and no one's going to come to a fitness no. studio around it. And we said, we think it's going to work. You had, you had the vision yeah. and you had the belief that yeah. you could do it and, and, uh, and in your and ability a, as well. Fantastic client base, thankfully. And, and five and a half years later, we're still here yeah. and we've, we've managed to up our client base and um, it's, it's gone really well. It's been it's yeah. the best thing we've done um, sort of yeah. career wise. So, I mean, well, one of the probably the misconceptions I probably have about having a personal trainer is you haven't got to be a, a fitness freak, have you? you it's just. It's about well-being as well, isn't it, for, for people? You, you haven't got to be running marathons every no, weekend. No, no, no. So. Everyone has different goals, don't they? I mean, between Cliff and I, we have clients that are here and have never been to a gym before. And if anything, that's what kind of attracts them to come down here. Yeah. There is some, that little bit of intimidation going oh, to yeah. commercial gyms. Yes. Where you think, as you just said, when you go in and you think, oh, everyone's going to be um, super fit yeah. and I'm going to be really embarrassed and not going to know what to do. So some people come here initially because they'd like to learn how to do different exercises, how to lose weight, put muscle yeah. on, do a marathon, yeah. whatever their, you know, their goal is. So yeah. we have a complete... You know, yeah. I mean, if you, look at our, if you look at our client base, you know, the youngest member is probably kind of 17, 18. Oh, okay. The oldest is what, 60, yeah. five, um, male, so female. So big, broad yeah, spectrum. Yeah, broad yeah, spectrum. Of and we've got guys that have never stepped foot in the gym before yeah. and uh, really big, you know, yeah. beginner level. Um, and then we've got guys that, you know, have trained all their lives yeah so you know it, the, the spectrum of people come down yeah. is quite it's certainly something i found from walking through through the door it didn't seem an intimidating intimidating place um so and if people wanted to find out more information how can they find out more about find your fitness uk so the, um we use social media okay bit, so we yeah. have an instagram account which yeah. is at finding fitness okay in uk one Respect, isn't it? Yeah. You're the social media guy. Yeah. And then we've got, uh, we're on Facebook. So okay. We have a Facebook um, business page. Okay. Which is at, at Find Your Fitness UK. Brilliant. Again, and then we have um, our own personal websites, which yeah. is pt 7couk and Clifford Soul. Um, Soul Fitness. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. So people can find out the contact details yeah. if they yeah. want to know more. Again, you're not, you're just a short walk from the main Wigston Town yeah. Centre. Um, Quick Fit is probably the most iconic landmark around here to know where about you are. Whenever roughly. someone new is coming, yeah, yeah. that's what we always say. So they'll have our address and we always say the same thing. We're next door so, to Quick Fit. As soon as you say that, then yeah. it's okay. We know so it. I can see you've got a couple of clients that came in a few moments ago. Yeah. Do you think we could probably get them, put them through their paces with a bit of a personal training session? Yes, yeah. Yeah. That's, what, that's what they're waiting for. Yeah. They're waiting oh, for. Fantastic, yeah. fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. Yeah. We'll try and work them hard. So um, that would be great, great to see. So um, now in terms of um, what's, what's kind of going on locally, um, we were talking off camera and um, something that I'm doing this coming Saturday actually is the uh, Loos Tower Run Walk probably more of a walk for me rather than a run, but um, so 351 steps, St George's Tower, for those of you that don't know it, it's the quite an iconic building at the bottom of London Road, 
um, between me and a colleague. We've raised nearly a thousand pounds. That's our aim is to raise a thousand pounds for Loas. Yeah. Twenty-five pounds it costs to fund an hour's care for Loas, and from every pound raised, ninety p of that goes into um, caring for their patients. So fantastic, a fantastic charity. Um, but the other event they've got, which um, probably not as intensive, is their Twilight Walk. Have you heard of the Twilight yeah. Walk that they do? Yeah. So. Um, so they've got that on the 6th of April. We've, I went down to Laos recently and uh, chatted with Abigail, who's organising the Twilight Walk to find out more. Um, so we've got a quick video just to show you in case you're interested and would like to participate. Hi, Abby. Hello. Hi. Um, so for the past three, four years, we've been supporting the yeah. Twilight Walk. So um, what's, what I think everyone's dying to know is what is the, the theme for this year's walk? So this year's theme is Under the Sea, wow. which we're very excited yeah. about. We anticipate to see lots of uh, mermaids and sea creatures yeah. around on the day. So, yeah, really excited. Yeah. And, the, and I know from experience there's normally some creative costumes Absolutely. that are either made or, or purchased doing that walk around Leicester. And how far have people got to walk? So it's a 10k walk okay. through Leicester. Lady, yeah. Biggest uh, night out in yeah. Leicester for ladies. Yes, because it is just ladies, ladies and obviously right. uh, children as well, female children. That's correct, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, as long as they're accompanied by an adult. So yeah, so yeah we have um, merchandise on our online shop to buy. Yeah. But like you say as well, we do encourage people to get creative as well. Yeah, no, brilliant. So, um, so how can people find out more about the Twilight Walk and how can they register to come and take part? So the best thing to do would be to go to our website which is laos.co.uk yeah. forward slash twilight brilliant on there you can register at the moment um it is 12 pounds per person to yeah. sign up um we do encourage people to gain sponsorship as well but yeah. it's not compulsory yeah um and uh, everybody receives a bib number yeah. and t-shirt as part of their fundraising fantastic so we'll pop the link at the bottom of the video so if if you want to sign up um, or even make a donation to last as well so i know that we're going to be at the station at victoria park um and uh, kind of that last leg as head, people head down back to the king power stadium because yeah. of course that's where it starts that's correct um there's normally a bit of a uh, an event there isn't yeah. there that's, that's, that kicks things off so we'll be there handing out chocolate bars which always seem to go down well I was going to say they really appreciate it after yeah. walk up New Walk yeah and uh, I think uh, last last year we even had some dancers uh, that, that did some dancing and, and we even had Hot Shop the rider's mascot at the top Wonderful. of uh, greeting all the ladies and they wanted to give him a hug as well so um, so if you'd like to find out more information then please pop along to the last website um, I know um, that there are eight ladies is from Knightsbridge estate agents that are going to be taking part yes. and they're setting up a group fundraising page as well because um, I know many of those ladies have had, have had relatives that have been in Loas or have been supported by Loas. So what is Loas all about? Because for those people out there that don't know what Loas is, I know it is a specific Leicestershire and Rutland based charity. Yeah. So what does Loas provide? So like you say, we're a specific to Leicester, Leicestershire and Rutland, we're a hospice charity, so we provide specialist palliative care to patients and their families yeah. over 2,500 every year um, um, at our hospice here on yeah. Ruby Road. And I can imagine running uh, a facility like this, mm -hmm. uh, I mean even just when we came into reception, we were greeted with a smile by the lovely ladies on reception, it can't be can't be cheap to run a facility like this. No, I mean, our volunteers are such a massive support yeah. we couldn't continue without them, basically. They are wonderful, um, but it does cost us more and more every yeah. year, and currently um, we do need to generate £6 million in... Wow, um, that's a big number. It is, yeah, yeah. donated and, and voluntary income, so that's yeah. where our fundraising events are. Now, I know one thing that's, that's probably on the lips of a lot of people is that quite often when they donate to charity, the charities don't really see a lot of that money. So out of every pound, how much is going to the actual hospice itself to help support its patients? So we're really proud of the fact that it's 90 pence in every pound oh, is brilliant. directly towards patient care. Yeah, fantastic. Because yeah. you do hear about that, don't yeah. you? So, no, that's brilliant. So 90p in every pound that's raised is going direct into Loas to help support its patients. So if you'd like to help get involved um, with Loas, even just make a donation for the Twilight Walk, or even just pop out in Leicester, um, which is it's on the 6th of April. Yeah. So pop out into Leicester and see the, the great costumes that are out and about. You won't be disappointed. I know some of the ladies do get a little bit wobbly on the way around and maybe <laughs> visit some of the pubs as well, but it's all good fun yeah. um, and it's all for a great cause. So uh, pop along to the link below and um, certainly come along and, and help and donate um, if you see us at the top of Victoria Park.
Yeah. All sorted? Yeah. yeah. I said done. Oh. Absolutely brilliant, wasn't it? Yeah. Again, we've also got another up and coming event coming through to South Wigston. It's at, um, on the 27th of May and it's the South Wigston Festival of Leisure. That's going to be based at Blaby Park Road. Yeah. Um, so that's quite close to the college. It's going to have a lot yeah, of interaction. Yeah, between the college and Tesco's, yeah. isn't it? So, so that's something to look forward to again. Yeah, no, no, fantastic. So, um, and just recently, we're on the, seem to be on the bit of the fitness theme now, so we may as well continue it. Um, we did the Rotary Club, um, the swim marathon. You were our head coach, there was even a, though you didn't appear. Yeah, I think we managed to get, I think we got 187 lengths, I think. 120, I'd love 187, I think we would have come first place, but we did 127 in 55 minutes. So. Great coach. Yeah. Great coach. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was yeah. Sunday and I was, uh, I was uh, detained somewhere else at that point. <laughs> <laughs> so, but no, really good, really good fun. Um, eight local charities that the fundraiser is going to. They've raised in the region of seven to eight thousand pounds. We managed to contribute around three hundred pounds to that pot, and there is one overseas charity as well that's going to benefit from that. So, uh, and they're making that a regular event now with Parklands Leisure Centre. Um, so a special thanks to Parklands Leisure Centre, to Everard Brewery who are sponsoring it, and as well as Newby Castleman. Um, and, but they did have Baby Shark on repeat a few times. I suppose it's an appropriate song. Yeah, um, and a great song. First swim marathon, so, um, so no, 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 definitely. So, um, so then Rade, what else have we got that's coming up in Wigston? Uh, we've got the Wigston Rock and Roll Club. Um, that will be going on around the 15th of March and that's going to be hosted by More Important and Wayne Brown. So um, a really, really, really popular up and coming event. That's going to be hosted at the Elms Social and Service Club. So, you know, if you've got nothing better to do and if you want to listen to some really, really good, authentic, uh, traditional rock and roll, please make that date available in your diaries. Yeah. And, and just something uh, I think it's quite appropriate for, for any time of the year really is um, there's a, a Bowles um, Mental Health Forum meeting. Yes, um, so that's for the Obi Wigson and Blaby Mental Health Forum. Quite a, uh, a key uh, item um, that to bring it, public awareness To as bring well. that kind of public awareness. Again, where, where we are it kind of helps with mental health and that well-being, doesn't it? We've, it's proven with, with right. exercise. Yeah, so exercise that, is supposed to be. Fantastic. We, we, we have quite a few clients that have come here yeah. with you know, maybe minor things like anxiety and, yeah. and they've said that exercise just makes yeah. you feel so much better yeah. and it's managed to kind of bring it down a little yeah. bit. Yeah, it's a huge stress release. I mean, that, that's going to be hosted on Tuesday the 9th of April. That's going to be at Manor High School, which is in Cops Close, OB. Um, for further information, please look at the um, Love OB and Love Wigston website. But again, just to recap, that's on the 9th of April. Fantastic. So there's quite a lot going on in Wigston. Um, some things that I didn't even know about before we, we started to research it. Um, it's been really interesting here. Um, so um, thank you very much for your time. Um, if, if, obviously, Cliff, you can help with anyone um, in terms of personal fitness and Andrew, then you can help with personal fitness. Find your fitness UK, it's in Wigston. Um, I don't think you're going to be disappointed if you come down to have a look. Um, certainly very welcoming, very warming. There's changing facilities, so it's it's a proper setup yeah. here, isn't it? Yeah, and we, and we offer um, a free gym pass as well, so a free uh, class pass. That okay. I've not been here before. Right, so, so a we, bit of a trial. Yeah, we, yeah. we run a group class membership in the um, evening times, yeah. well, from 4.30 p.m. onwards, circuit training, yoga classes. Yeah. So if you haven't been before, then welcome to come and try okay. class for free. Just one quick question, guys. What yeah. time do you open in the mornings? So we're, because we're a personal training student, we're by appointment, so usually our first training session is 6.30. Okay, in the right. Um, and then we'll be here throughout the day by appointment and usually till about 8 p.m. at night yeah. time. Um, classes are wow. set in stone for times. Okay. So the, the 4.30, uh, 6 or 7 p.m. Yeah. starts, apart from we have a Saturday class at 9 a.m. Um, but apart from that, it's all personal training and group training sessions yeah. where it's made by appointment. Just, wow. start, just start a new yoga class actually on um, Wednesdays okay. at 5.30. Um, which is you know already fully booked you know so hopefully yeah you know, that would be the beauty about those yeah. slots are people can come in before they go to work so I yeah. know that some gyms are open 24 hours and so on and so forth but with your personal touch obviously the 6 30 7 yeah. 7 30 slots that gives people an opportunity just before they go to work yeah. but yeah. everything's on your doorstep that's, that's the difference you haven't got to drive for 20 30 minutes yeah so that eliminates one of the excuses that you can yeah, put. We have, we have on-site parking as well. So yeah. there's, there's parking available on-site and 
across the road on, on the road. So yeah, so there's plenty of parking, so there's no hassle there either. Fantastic, I'd, excellent. I'd certainly highly recommend anyone living in, within the Wixton area in the OB. It's not just exclusive to Wixton residents. If you're local, pop down, look onto their Facebook page, um, pop along, say hello, and take advantage of that, that free class and, and, and induction. So uh, we'll see you back in April. Um, I think I'm gonna see if I can wangle a, uh, a couple of uh, PT sessions now and maybe we can document some of that for later on. Yeah. <laughs> so see you next month guys. Thank you.